Thursday. All right, 616 in the morning here on this Thursday. Adriana, thanks so much for just joining us. We're live at Guitar for Life Cafe. That's along Main Street here in downtown Waukesha where the 2022 Waukesha Christmas Parade will run this November. The theme for this year's parade is Peace on Earth. And to keep that theme, TMJ4 is honored to announce that we will be broadcasting the parade live this year on air so that the community can watch in the comfort of their own home following what happened, of course, during last year's parade. This morning, we're joined live by Anna Spears and members of the Revolution's Twirling Club who've been behind us throughout the morning. Thank you for getting up with us so early in the morning and coming out here and the ladies as well twirling for us. Uh, and they're going to do some twirling behind us. Yes, thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. All right, well, we'll move out of the way while we let them do their thing here and talk about uh, you guys have been in the parade for, for years, and obviously with what happened last year, uh, you were fortunate enough not to have any, any physical injuries, but it's going to be hard to come back to this parade. Yes, we were very fortunate, as you said, to not have any physical injuries, but our students and families watching the parades did have a lot of emotional trauma that they were dealing with and luckily with the help of the community and the support we're healing through that and one big step in that healing process is to come back and participate in the Waukesha Holiday Parade again this fall. Yeah, so you're ready to do that. And we should mention, we put the, the ladies in a very small space, so it's they don't exactly have the room to do what they would normally do. But uh, is correct. how many people actually are in the parade? And they obviously will be going across the entire street. Yes, correct. Usually we have about 25 to 35 students marching in the parade. And in addition to twirling regular batons, because it's a night parade, we have LED lighted batons. And several of these girls that you see here also twirl fire batons in our wow. parade. So we do a lot of different things when we're outdoors. <laughs> yeah, when we're outdoors. All right. And, and how has the practicing been and making feel, people feel comfortable for this coming year? They've been working really hard. We did participate in the 4th of July parade, so that was a big step and the girls did a great job. The community's been very supportive and showing their appreciation for their performances I think really helps them get that enthusiasm back for being in the parades and performing again. All right, Anna, ladies, thanks for being with us this morning. Coming up here in uh, less than 15 minutes, we'll talk with the Waukesha mayor uh, about this year's upcoming Christmas parade. We'll send it back inside to you, Susan. Oh, love watching these young girls. Thanks so much, Tom. Here's